I like making things. Tucked away in the spare bedroom of a Glen Burnie apartment. Some would say that is the sound of progress, of technology allowing Travis Larrell to do something a year ago he could not. There's something satisfying about building something yourself and see if it works. This is a $1,300 3D printer. It prints in hard plastic, and he's using it to make gun parts. This, I'm going to take to the range soon and give it a test. The magazine, which of course goes in here, uh, that works. Show me where this matches up. Uh, this matches up right here. This part counts as the firearm, and the rest of it counts as accessories. Therefore, if you've made the, the lower receiver, you can purchase the rest separately and build the firearm at home. A group in Texas claims it's used a 3D printer to make components for this assault rifle the model and posted its designs online for others to download. Kevin Armentrout's company, ABC Imaging, does industrial grade 3D printing. He says even his high-end equipment can't make a working gun. Right now, I don't think the technology is, is there just yet, especially not on a consumer level. We know people have successfully made magazines and even this portion that actually fires this AR-15. The concern by some is that as this printing technology gets better, somebody could fabricate an entire working weapon like this at home and it would be completely untraceable. This is a huge concern. New York Congressman Steve Israel is trying to make it illegal for people to use 3D printers to make guns or gun parts by renewing the undetectable Firearms Act set to expire at the end of the year. I don't want to sit back and allow terrorists to literally use uh, 3D printers to manufacture plastic guns and plastic gun parts, put them on airplanes, bring them anywhere they want and fire them and harm my constituents or anybody else. How's that national conversation going? Well, I don't think there's any practical danger of somebody printing an untraceable weapon. I mean, if they did, the round would most certainly set off metal detectors. Growing debate over technology that's changing what's possible with its every move. Chris Van Cleve, ABC 7 News.